so we discussed the overall basics of research right in the previous class so continuing from that today we are going to discuss about the types types of research so let me start this with the common types basic and applied research see basic and applied research are interrelated to each other that means uh, basic research lays the foundation for applied research so i am going to uh, today i am going to handle this lesson about basic and applied research and we will see what is basic research and what is applied research and how they are uh, how they how both basic and applied research feed each other with specific examples also so that you can be able to understand what i am trying to cover in this lesson so let me start uh, with this introduction topic is more manageable is dividing the topics by asking the question what will be this used for so the last class i told you is uh, research is about formulating a question and finding solution to that particular question okay so you need to ensure that the question which is asked on what purpose the solution to that the answer to that question for what purpose this answer will solve will you will be used for so that is a way to manage the research topic by dividing the topics by asking the question for what this answer will be used for so what after completing for example after completing my mlac degree so what the what this degree will be useful to me so like that uh, you need to ask ask yourself the question so this is how you will divide it okay so coming to that applied research is nothing but it is used to answer a specific question that has direct application to the world okay so now we are in the crisis of covid right finding solution to covid finding vaccine to covid or eradicating covid is a solution to this applied research so finding a vaccine to covid is applied research is one kind of applied research because that answer to a specific question is when will the vaccine come that has direct applications to the world so this is the basic definition of uh, applied research so we will see what applied research with a specific example see if i have taken this particular example so you can understand so applied research is something we can make use of so here is a simple question how should the student study so everyone has their own preferences in studying right some will be in the library some will be in the home everyone has mm. their own choices so this is the question i have taken how a, how should a student study so let let us think this question from a research point of view what research tells about how a student studies so what is the findings of this particular question which kind of which methods and which kind of studies ensures better performance so we will see what research says actually about this particular question see there are many ways i told you there are many ways to go about answering this question and the one once we will look will have a direct and applicable finding okay that is what we are going to discuss in this particular aspect see most people as i mentioned earlier everyone has their own preferences right most people like to study in their bedroom laying on the bed and they collect their notes and spread them across the bed that is one way they will do and uh, so and just reading for them just reading is boring so they what they will do is they will switch on the radio or television and uh, they they need to talk to their friends as well so what they do is they keep their phone nearby also and usually somewhere near the bed so this uh, this is one way people used to study and some people prefer a quiet place and without any disturbances or any noise it depending upon the requirement depending upon the mentality of the individual so this is just most people do like this so what however what what actually is the best method a student should study what applied research has found out that a quiet room without music animals or television improves concentration this is what research has found out a uh, solution answer to this question is this only research says that a quiet room without any noise or any disturbances improves concentration so sitting like you sitting like how you are uh, sitting in the examination hall with the state of consciousness just focusing on what you are going to study will improve your memory and concentration so instead of taking all the notes uh, and trying to cram before the test it should be spaced out so most people everyone will do what uh, tomorrow if tomorrow if the exam is tomorrow 
they will take the notes uh, today only and see what will happen so instead of doing that if you if you space it and if you plan it properly it improves so what is a result as well as your memory that is what research is saying about this particular question so this question is a kind of uh, finding solution answer to this particular question is a kind of applied research okay we are because we are up, we are applying the findings to everyone so we are, can say that students uh, you it is better to read without any noise and any, any disturbance so that you will have a better improvement in your results as well as you will have a better memory and concentration so this is the advice based on research conducted okay so it is applicable applicable to every student so that is what applied research is the findings of this research should be applicable to everyone as a whole okay so when proper study habits are applied they can increase scores and test allows a person to retain the information longer as i said earlier so study habits should be proper you should not just read before the exam so you should daily revise what i am teaching daily on a daily basis it will help you to recall and it will help you to enhance your knowledge so when you when you attend the test when the test is near or the exam is near you will have full confidence over it in other words we research the best way to study and we will now apply our founding findings in this applied research let's say so research states that the best way to study is to find a quiet place without any noise and without any disturbances so if you do that it shows that there is a improvement in memory as well as test scores so this is the best way so research suggests that this is how you should study instead of uh, instead of what do you say instead of lying in the bed hearing music and watching tv some people will do that it doesn't mean that uh, it will not applicable to all but it is the best way when compared to other ways so this is uh, this is what i told you this is what i gave you an example about uh, what is applied research with a specific question so this is uh, what you said this is a theoretical concept of applied research for your uh, study purpose the pursuit of information that can be directly applied to practice is aptly known as applied research so this is a definition it is given in and other uh, it is given in uh, other, other, other other without changing the context of the meaning it is rephrased but it also it says that whatever the finding is it should be applied to the it should be applied practically either to the particular uh, group or to the society as a whole that is the application of your findings the finding should be applied to everyone or to a particular community that is applied research okay researchers in this field try to find immediate solutions to existing problems facing a society or an industrial or a business organization now the problem is we are having covid right so researchers are trying to find vaccine so that is applied research when they find an answer when they find a vaccine when they find the vaccine when they when they when they find a vaccine that is the answer to the question when uh, that is answer to the question when will the covid go away so when they find the vaccine they can apply it to they can provide it to all the people so that is the finding is applicable to everyone so this kind of research this kind of research is called as applied research in simple terms see people cannot foresee the future well enough to predict what is going on to develop from basic research you see we don't know we in the february in the month of february when we were uh, when everyone was in the campus we never imagined that we will be lock, we will be in the lockdown in our home right so we don't know we cannot predict it covid came as a surprise to everyone else right to to everyone so like that when something happens when some a problem when a when a problem arises finding solution to that problem is known as applied research and the, not only finding solution you have to apply the findings to everyone to every community to to everyone as to every to the society as a whole or to particular community those who are in need of right is designed to solve practical problems of the modern world rather than acquiring knowledge for knowledge sake acquiring knowledge for knowledge sake is basic research applied research is solving practical problem remember that okay so this is uh, some example this is some example questions uh, for uh, what applied research can be carried out right for example applied research may investigate ways and means to improve how to improve agriculture crop production okay 
when you find a solution to that how to improve agriculture crop that can be applied by the farmers right so your finding is applied by the farmer community so it is an applied research to treat or cure a specific disease like covid improve the energy efficiency of homes offices modes of transportation so whatever findings it will be whatever uh, findings come out of this question will be applied to that particular community so this is known as applied research so now we are uh, moving towards basic research i hope you understood what is applied research so now i, now I will just uh, move to the second part of our topic which is basic research see the definition of basic research it is driven purely by curiosity and a desire to expand our knowledge it is not inventing or finding solution to a problem it is just expanding our knowledge there is already there is knowledge we are having the curiosity to find more information about it that is basic research so i will give an example okay so this type of research tends not to be directly applicable to the real world in a direct way but enhances enhances in the sense it increases our understanding of the world around us for example we know that we know we are living in the planet earth right so how did the earth form okay what is the shape of the earth why the shape of the earth is spherical so these kind of questions this kind of curiosity is known as basic research see we have an idea of we have an idea of what applied research is right so how does basic research fit into the broader world of research if it's cost money time and other precious resources but does not have a direct application then why what is the need for doing basic research that's a good question actually because applied research helps in finding solution to problem but basic research is just improving knowledge right so why so why do we need to spend so much money to do basic research instead we can do applied research right because i will show you what is the need for doing basic research because the findings of basic research will the questions arised by basic research will feed will feed applied research in the in the early part of the session i told you that basic research and applied research are interrelated right basic research lays the foundation for applied research you will see how how basic research helps to undergo applied applied research undertake applied research we will see that so we will see why what is the need for basic research see as i mentioned earlier basic research feeds applied research and applied research feeds basic research it is interrelated with each other basic research is a little less directed than applied research because it is just to improve knowledge and enhance knowledge based on curiosity so we will look at a particular example on what basic research is so i have given example for better understanding so if i go with theory part if i just go with the theory part you will not be able to understand so it will be a little bit boring so to make you more uh, make it um, to make it more understandable i gave uh, explanation with the examples see so this is the example i have this is the example i have taken for basic research we are doing an evaluation process the evaluation process in the sense program evaluation is meticulous to look at the benefits cost and outcomes of the program right we are doing an evaluation to look at the benefits cost and outcomes of a program let it be any program right so here i have taken a rehabilitation rehabilitation center you know i hope you understand what is mean by rehabilitation center let us say we are program evaluators we are evaluating a program that is we are evaluating a rehabilitation center at substance abuse rehabilitation facility okay so what do you mean by substance abuse substance abuse refers to harmful or hazardous use of pro psychoactive substance including alcohol and illicit drugs okay so people who use the, these drugs they get addicted and over a period of time they cannot able to control themselves so what they do is they join the rehabilitation center to make themselves cure okay to cure themselves so we are going to do a program evaluation on this rehabilitation center so we really want to know what we want to know what we want to evaluate we want to know if they are rehabilitating substance abuser one per any person who has joined in that cent, in that center should be cured that is what we want to know okay so we will see it so these are the questions framed these are the questions framed for evaluating the program of the re, uh, rehabilitation center how many people relapse okay how many people successfully complete the program are funds being divided and utilized properly 
what changes could be made to improve the success rate so these are the four questions these are the four questions we are uh, going to consider for evaluating the program of uh, rehabilitation center so what do you mean by relapse actually how many people relapse that means the treat there is some improvement for certain period if I, if a person joins uh, he, he is a drug addict and he joins the rehabilitation center uh, during the process he shows some improvement for the first 10 days he shows some improvement and suddenly again he resorts to that same habits that means relapse okay there is temporary improvement and again it goes down so how many people relapse and how many people successfully completed the program that is the outcome that is the goal of this center right when a person comes with the, these habits and these uh, problems he should be cured properly so that is the goal so how many people successfully completed are funds being divided and utilized properly what are the, the funds received by the rehabilitation center is being utilized is being divided to appropriate sections and it is being utilized properly this is what we are going to find out and what changes and what are the changes to make to improve the success rate right so if only 50 percent 100 people have joined only 40 has been uh, cured pro uh, cured uh, wholly means the remaining 60 people have not been cured so what is the reason what changes uh, could be made uh, to make them to make the other people also to improve the success rate of other people's also so these are the things we are going to find out so these questions are not applicable to anything see this is not this cannot be applied to anything it just cannot be applied to overall world it just increases the knowledge okay but acts as a catalyst for future applied research for the rehab facility for that particular for that particular rehab facility it acts as the base it acts as the pivot for this rehab facility is the findings will help the rehab facility to perform better right for instance you see the last question that last question what is the last question what changes could be made to improve the success rate for this additional research for this question additional research should be can be conducted and this question is an applied research question right so when you find out these are the changes when you find out these are the changes so when you find out these are the changes so oh, this is the problem so that is why people are people are not getting cured so when you find out the problem when you find the solution for the problem when you apply to the rehabilitation center the success rate improves so that is an applied research right so basic research you see there so this is how basic research feeds applied research so basic research is quite essential to conduct applied research so again the two types of research feed into one another that is interrelated in this case basic research feeds the need for applied research so when you formulate these questions and when you find answer for this question when you apply to the rehabilitate center it becomes applied research so basic research feeds applied research right so this is the example of basic research now i'm coming to the theoretical theoretical part you see basic research focuses on the search for truth and development of theory as i said earlier it is not going to apply to anywhere the findings of basic research is not applied to anywhere gathering knowledge gathering knowledge for knowledge sake is the soul soul means only purpose of basic research it is also called as fundamental or pure research other terminologies it is also called as fundamental or pure research basic fundamental pure or uh, all are same okay fine rarely helps practitioners directly with their everyday concerns but can stimulate the new ways of thinking about life so as i told earlier now the simple question about library how using library how using library improves academic performance it cannot be applicable to the whole setup right some people without coming to the library also can score good marks but how the impact of library improves or affects performance that is what i am going to analyze that is a basic research it might be helpful in a certain extent not as a whole like applied see when the solution to the research problem has no apparent applicants to existing practical problem basic research cannot be conducted to solve this practical problem of covid right but serves only the scholarly interest of a community of a researcher the research is very basic right to find out more knowledge about the existing body in simple terms right in other words you see the third paragraph basic research lays the foundation for applied research that follows that is what i told you earlier in the early part of the lesson it lays the foundation for applied research 
so these are some of the common questions of basic research how did the universe begin we know what is universe so how it was how it began and how it was formed to finding answer out of curiosity it's basic research right what are proton neutrons and electron composed of what is the specific genetic code of fruit fly so these are the types of uh, questions that can be inquired in basic research so here is an example i have given you an example of what basic research is see a researcher called hassan he gave a solution to linear programming problems to computer algebra okay so we know what linear programming problems already exist it is in the pi it is part it is a part of mathematics right so he gave a solution to these programming problems by means of computer algebra see out of his curiosity he, fo he found out he developed a technique for solving this frictional programming fractional programming problems right so we know we can solve this problem in other ways also but he found a solution using computer algebra to solve this particular problem so this is a basic research he determined all the feasible solutions of the constraint which are a system of linear equ uh, uh, equations then the author computed and compared the objective function values and obtained the optimal objective function value and solution this method was illustrated with a few numerical examples he not only he not only found a solution he also found out the constraints constraints before and he formulated a plan and a method with numerical examples see we know the problem is already there in mathematics linear program linear uh, li linear fractional programming problems and he, he developed a computer technique for solving that problem right out of curiosity why can't i use computer to solve this problem so this is basic research it is not applicable to whole world but this research will be useful for further research also and it adds it adds extra knowledge right it adds extra knowledge to the existing body so this is a an example of what you call basic research so this is the what is a comparison between basic and applied research as a said earlier basic research is just to expand knowledge it is curiosity driven when you have the curiosity when you have the eagerness to know more basic research will begin from there and and intended to answer why what and how questions why how universe was formed why this is wrong like this does not have immediate objectives immediate or commercial object, objectives it may not necessarily result in an invention or solution to a practical problem not all basic research leads to invention right whereas in the case of applied research it is the opposite of it new knowledge acquired has specific commercial objectives products procedures or values so new knowledge in the sense let us take covid covid uh, covid the vaccine found for covid will be applicable to everyone to every human being in this case to to the to the you know to the whole as a whole right answer specific questions aimed at solving practical problems here the specific question is uh, what is the treatment for covid by uh, what is the treatment for covid that is a specific question they are finding solution to it when the answer comes out that will be applicable to everyone this is the sources for uh, sources of material where uh, which uh, which is used to prepare the ppt so this is all about basic and applied research